In the South African autumn of 2023, all my hives on one of my sites had no bee brood. That means no new bees would be born in the next 21 days. This is concerning as it would mean the size of these colonies would dramatically reduce in a short period of time. Would these hives survive? I decided to focus in on one of the colonies to analyze and see how this would pan out. At this stage, I had no idea if this hive that I'm tracking even had a queen. To illustrate the comparison between inspections easier, I'll be using a diagram I created of a 10 frame brood box in a Langstroth hive. By color coding the frames, honey of course looks like honey, and then brood is the green frames and empty frames are the white ones. I hope this will allow you to follow the progression of the track colony all the way from May 2023 through to May 2024. Based on the previous videos I did on this hive, I'll put the, the link in the corner, where we did an inspection in May 2023, our autumn here in South Africa. This hive, much like the others on this site, looked like this. All 10 frames were filled only with honey. Since then, we've done inspections on this hive in spring, August 2023, again in the middle of summer, which was December 2023, and finally in fall or autumn of 2024. Going into our pre-spring maintenance, uh, we were unsure on whether the colony had survived the winter, and if the queen had come back from her long holiday and got to work strengthening the colony in preparation for the flow. Opening the box, we can see a lot of bees in the lid, which is promising. Beautiful, eh? Yes. Can you see a queen in there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there she is. So this is great news. We've spotted the queen, and um, that means that she's made it through the winter, and uh, we're going to get into the brood box now and see whether she's actually doing her job. These uh, first few frames have got me worried uh, there's no brood so far. Much as we saw a queen in this box, I don't see any brood, eh? Okay, so we found brood, at least this queen is laying, and it seems like she decided to lay just to the one side of this box. Another patch brood, there we go. Okay, that's good. That's good to see. All happy with that? Yes, yeah. Good. Another, another patch of brood on that one. Normally I wouldn't super unless I had eight frames of brood, but we're going into spring where I know there will be a flow of sorts and we're going to give these girls a one-to-one -one sugar syrup which will get the queen laying anyway. So I expect the colony to expand really, really quickly now. Right, before winter we had only honey frames in this box. Now winter's finished and we're going into spring, couple of brood frames and let's see if someone's going to be kind to us and we get some honey off this hive. Top 
for that one. Yeah, it's ready. Ah. That's perfect. You can see yeah. also the uh, mm -hmm. Lovely, perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, that's Indeed. what we wanted to see another one. Indeed. You can see this one is also ready. Yeah, it's all ready. <laughs> Everything's ready. Yes, all right, all right. Oh, it's heavy, eh? Yes. So as we expected, the bees have been really, really busy through the summer. We've got a nice full super, wow. and even some of the frames in the brood box are full of honey. Okay. It's also honey. Leave it on the outside. Good. 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 Oh, that's beautiful. Both sides, eh? Beautiful. That one's not so nice. That one's okay. All brood. What we are looking for in the brood box is any frames of honey we can remove and replace with foundation frames so the queen has more room to lay eggs. We took the full honey frames from the brood box and placed two empty foundation frames with a brand new super. Okay, we'll push this one to the outside. Put your one in there. This is exactly what we wanted to see and by doing the maintenance as we've done it, we've prevented this colony from wanting to swarm by providing a lot more empty space for the queen to lay in. That's it. Yes, 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 nothing yet. It's too much. Be surprised. Hey, how can that other one be so full? I don't know. And then this one's so empty. Okay, so we're going to take this off anyway. And put it back on in the spring. Right, we've now come full circle to autumn of 2024, which is exactly one year from when we opened this hive. The start is very much the same as what we saw the previous year with just four frames of honey. But we did come across two brood frames, which was different to what we saw in May of 2023. Knowing that the hive did so well with all of the honey it had last year, we're going to leave this honey in here for these bees. But we removed the super in preparation for the winter. It's quite clear to see how the queen reduces her laying during this period of time to prepare for winter. And there's so much less brood in the box. As part of our maintenance, we did take out one frame of uh, honey and put in an empty foundation frame. So I wanted to compare the season of 2022 uh, against the season of 2023 and we can see that the pre-spring in 2022 was very different to the pre-spring in 2023 and that was because we had no queen in that box. Okay, there were queen there. cells and based on the fact that by summer 2022 we were able to see brood in that box we knew they had created a new queen. And then in the autumn the, there was no brood at all and they had stored honey in preparation for winter we can see that this is very similar to autumn of 2024 so what's clearly evident to me is that this colony has got stronger and stronger over the two seasons and we were fortunate enough that in the summer of 2023 
we were able to harvest a really, really full super of honey. I'm hoping that the season that follows this one now, we'll be able to do two harvests at the beginning of uh, uh, summer or the end of spring, and then another one at the end of summer where we're going to get uh, two full supers off this colony. As an experiment, I'm going to feed the bees a thin syrup to keep the queen laying for a little bit longer in the hope that the colony will be stronger for my pre-spring maintenance. If you are interested to see how the 2022 season went when we had no queen all the way through to a brood box that had zero brood in it, was just frames of honey, then go and take a look at this video. It's one of my previous ones. And thanks for watching and I look forward to enjoying your company again in my next video.